So if you want one of the most affordable cold air intakes from one of the most popular brands, KNN, you've found it. This intake is designed for the 1418 5.3 liter powered Silverado, and it's one of our most popular options currently available on the site for a few reasons. Number one, it does not require a tune. Number two, it does give you some pretty nice curve gains in terms of horsepower and torque. And number three, it installs very easily. I'd also like to add that it does clean up the look under the hood. Let's face it, that factory air intake is a little ugly, especially with that big box kind of sitting there in the middle. So this will make it look a lot nicer underneath. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run our Silverado on the dyno to establish some baseline numbers, and we're gonna show you what kind of gains that this intake can make. Bone stock, it made 283 horsepower and 288 pound-feet of torque. So with those baseline numbers established on our bone stock Silverado, we then installed the air charger with a tune and our truck made 288 horsepower and 314 pound-feet of torque. That makes for curve gains of 20 horsepower and 25 pound-feet of torque. So as you can see, you do get some pretty nice gains. And again, this does not require a tune, but if you throw one on there with the intake, you will certainly maximize those numbers. If you're convinced like me and you like everything you see here, we can go ahead and show you how the install goes. Before we install our new air intake, we have to remove our factory setup. To do that, we're gonna start with disconnecting both the driver side and passenger side breather hoses connected to the resonator box right here. We're also gonna disconnect the two clamps holding the resonator box to the air box and to the throttle body. Now, like I said, you're gonna need a 516 socket and it's good to have a small extension for this. So with those two hoses unplugged and those clamps loosened, you can now pull the resonator box off of the throttle body and the factory air box. So our air intake comes with new breather hoses. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the factory driver and passenger side breather hoses from each of the heads on the motor. We're also gonna disconnect our MAF sensor from the factory air box. Now the last step of uninstalling our factory air system is pulling the wiring harness for the MAF sensor off of the factory air box. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and pull the air box directly out of the vehicle. So with that factory air box removed, you just gotta remove the mounting plate underneath. To do that, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts holding it in place. All right, now that we've got our factory intake removed from our Silverado, we're gonna go ahead and swap over our MAF sensor. To pull the MAF sensor from the factory air box, you're gonna need a T15 Torx bit. All right, with your factory MAF sensor removed, you're gonna go ahead and install it into your new k and intake tube. To do that, you're gonna to need to grab the adapter plate that the kit comes with as well as this little adhesive fitting right here that's gonna seal the MAF sensor so you don't have any air leaks. You're also gonna need the two small bolts that are provided in the kit. These are three millimeter Allen head bolts. Now to install the adapter plate to the tube, you're also gonna need these larger four millimeter Allen head bolts. All right, with our mass airflow sensor all hooked up, we're gonna go ahead and install our plastic barb fittings for our new crankcase ventilation hoses. I'm gonna thread one through here and one on this side. Again, these are plastic threads, so I would just hand tighten them. I wouldn't use any tools.
All right, with our intake tube all set up, we're gonna go ahead and install the weather stripping on our heat shield, and then we're gonna throw our heat shield into our engine bay. Now to install your new heat shield, you're gonna need three of the original bolts that you pulled out of your factory airbox mounting plate. That also means you're gonna need your 10 millimeter socket to tighten this thing down. All right, next we're gonna install our actual air filter with this plastic coupler, which is gonna to fit to the new intake tube. To do that, you're gonna to need to tighten down the band clamp over this adapter. Then you're gonna thread the adapter through the hole here on the air box, and you're gonna tighten it down using the two of these four millimeter Allen head bolts. All right, with our air filter tightened down, we're gonna install our intake tube. To do this, you're gonna grab two of the rubber couplers, one of these ones with a bulge in the middle, one of these with the tapered end. You're gonna grab three of your large band clamps and one of your small band clamps. All right, with our intake tube tightened up, it's time for us to install our new crankcase ventilation hoses. We're gonna go in the same spot your factory ones came off, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. And while we're down here, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our MAF sensor connector. So with your MAF sensor plugged in, that actually wraps up the install and my review of the K&N Series 63 Calder intake, fitting your 14 to 18 5.3 liter powered Silverado. I'm Travis, thanks for watching. For all things Chevy, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.